اصحابي اجمعين Um, my name is Ramiz Arens. Um, I'm currently serving uh, as the assistant imam at the Siddiqui Masjid in Elsie's Rabah, alhamdulillah. Um, I'm a martial art enthusiast, alhamdulillah. Um, I love practicing martial arts. So that is a very big part of my life as an imam. Alhamdulillah, currently I am um, running a self-defense program, alhamdulillah, at our masjid, inshallah ta'ala, educating our youth, especially in the, in the, in the community of Elsie's Rabah we um the order of the day is bullets subhanallah you know so may allah ta'ala make it easy for these youngsters that are operating on a day-to-day -day basis within these communities Amen. and with these challenges inshallah ta'ala alhamdulillah my topic has been given to me as a short brief history on the on the history of the mjc mashallah and um as our brother has mentioned inshallah ta'ala um it was 62 founder members that came together inshallah ta'ala with one view of an, how to bring all the ulama together insha'Allah ta'ala and work as a cohesive unit insha'Allah ta'ala to see to the needs of the Muslim community within the greater Cape Town. And um, it was on the 17th of February, the Sheikh mentioned, 10th of February when they convened at the Cathedral Hall, but it was actually on the 17th of February insha'Allah ta'ala, 1945, 1952, where um, the, the, the 17 to 19 members have been elected, insha'Allah ta'ala, to run the executive of the MJC, insha'Allah ta'ala. And um, amongst these uh, uh, executives, you know, um, were the likes of uh, Sheikh Ahmed Bihadin, um, we have uh, Sheikh Shakir Hamildin, um, we have Abdullah Hamildin, Ismail Edwards, and, and the likes of these uh, uh, prominent ulama, um, both studied uh, locally and also internationally, alhamdulillah. Um, by institutes like uh, Al Azhar, uh, as well as, as Makkah and Medina, and the prominent institutions of the Arab world, Alhamdulillah. Um, all in all, inshallah ta'ala, we find that um, in the history of the uh, Muslim Judicial Council, we find that there is to date 10 presidents, subhanAllah, Sheikh Irfan being the latest, Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him a long life, inshallah ta'ala, mm -hmm. to spearhead the Muslim Judicial Council in. In, 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 in navigating, you know, the, 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 the challenges that there is, you know, for the Muslim communities within Cape Town and in South Africa at large, inshallah ta'ala. Um, we find that uh, the, the very first, um, we won't say president because at that time uh, they were called chairmen, subhanAllah, they were actually called chairmen. So the first official chairman elected um, on the 17th of February was uh, Sheikh Shakir Hamildin, subhanAllah, an Azhar graduate. Um, mashallah, uh, uh, someone that is uh, very prominent in terms of his knowledge, alhamdulillah. And um, mashallah, he's known as a very studious person, a person that stood his ground, a stu person that stood his ground, no matter if the others disagreed with him, subhanallah. Um, and uh, the MGC went through a lot of uh, issues, subhanallah, um, uh, regarding uh, the, the various schools of thought that the ulama belonged to, subhanallah. But despite that, inshallah ta'ala, alhamdulillah, they still navigated uh, the, the Muslim community within a positive direction, even though there was uh, internal differences. So we find Sheikh Shakir Hamildin being the, the first chairman, alhamdulillah, of the Muslim Judicial Council. And then um, it was on the advice of, 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 of a very spiritual alim that came to visit the, MG, the shores of the MGC and the shores of the Cape by the name of Mulana Abdul Alim Siddiqui, subhanallah. And, um, uh, I have some information regarding my masjid that I am that he, the, the masjid was actually named after him. Mulan Abdul Alim Siddiqui. Siddiqui masjid was named after this, this scholar. Alhamdulillah. And he advised them to, to not name them chairmen but call them uh, presidents. Subhanallah. So, um, so the name of the president started changing. Um, I'll just mention briefly the, the, the names uh, as Sheikh uh, Shakir Hamildin, then we have Imam Abdullah Bihadin. And then we have Imam Sulaiman Harris. Then we have Sheikh Shakir Hamildin featuring again. Subhanallah, I just want to reiterate this point here. Um, that Sheikh Shakir Hamildin served for about two years at the beginning. And then he went to PE. Right? Um, for a whole while. And then afterwards he came back. Um, we have after Sheikh Shakir Hamildin, we have Ihsan Hamildin. And then we have uh, Abu Bakr Najjar. And then we have the, the famous uh, uh, Sheikh Nabi Muhammad. MashaAllah. And then we had Ibrahim Gables, Mawlana Hassan Hendricks, and then Irfan Abrams. Um, out of these scholars, we find that Sheikh Shakir Hamildin and Sheikh Nadim Muhammad 
um, are the two that served in the capacity of the president and the Rais the longest. Sheikh Nadeem Muhammad being the longest, 18 years that he served uh, the Muslim Judicial Council. And yet at this point I would just like to um, bring a few uh, 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 challenges to the forefront. Um, this being the Baytul Ulama, subhanAllah, Sheikh Irfan, I'd like to uh, uh, um, bring this point forward that the MJC is the Baytul Ulama. This is the house of the scholars, subhanAllah. And we must be proud of that, you know, because why? Over the 70 year period, you know, that uh, the scholars have been serving the Muslim community, you know, um, through all the challenges, alhamdulillah, they are still there, they are still in existence. And inshallah ta'ala, with, with the mercy of Allah ta'ala, they can only go from strength to strength, inshallah ta'ala. Um, we find that uh, some of the challenges that, that uh, the, the, the scholars, the likes of uh, Sheikh Shakir Hamildi and, 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 and the co-scholars that were serving with him, like Sheikh Ismail Hanif Edwards, um, who are both uh, Azhar graduates, um, some point to, to mention there that uh, they were Azhar graduates and they had a certain mindset, subhanAllah, because why? They studied at the time where Azhar was going through a educational change, subhanAllah. You know, a, a, a different rector by Mustafa, Mustafa al maragi rector of Al-Azhar in, in 1928, subhanAllah. He brought about a lot of modern, um, modern outlook on education, subhanAllah. Hence why you find Sheikh, Sheikh Hanif Edwards and Sheikh Shakir Hamdulillah coming with suits, subhanAllah. Coming with suits, you'll find focus seeing them not in the tra in, in the traditional, you know, uh, ju uh, the, 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 the traditional thaw, but you find them in suit and attire, subhanAllah. And they they came with this view and this mindset of, of educational change and and, 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 and um, you know mindset change for the community. And the ulama of the Cape and also the community, they weren't ready for that, subhanAllah. So as the books explain, they were men that were living ahead of their time, subhanAllah. They had certain um, views and certain goals for, for, for the community of Cape Town, which Cape Town wasn't really ready for at that time. You find that the issue that came up and some of the, 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 the small little fitness you know, that came, like the Bichara girl issue, subhanAllah. The Bichara girl issue was a very big thing um, in that time where um, a girl wants to get married but her father didn't give her consent. A lot of the scholars at the time didn't want to marry her off because her father didn't give her consent because Cape Town was larger a Shafi community. And then Sheikh Ismail Edwards, he said, I'll marry you. SubhanAllah. Not I'll marry you, but I'll marry you off. <laughs> uh, I'll marry you off. You know? Taking in consideration the view of the Hanafi mother that we lie, yeah? you know. Um, so he, he, he married her off and there was a big issue amongst the scholars for that time period. SubhanAllah. Another big issue that, uh, that came up uh, at that particular time was the issue of Dhuwar Salah of the Jumu'ah, subhanAllah, you know. Um, many of the scholars, again, of the Baytul Ulama, the MJC, they were against this, you know, and the likes of Sheikh Shakir Hamildin and, 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 and Ismail Hanif Edwards, other scholars, again, um, they, would, they would say no. No, there's no dual salah after of the Jumu'ah. And the staunch scholars uh, of, the, of the Shafi Madhab will say, no, you have to make it. This was a tradition of the Cape, and you coming and coming to change all this, subhanAllah. You know, so this was the challenges that the, that the ulama, as the, as the internal battles with each other. And yes, ups and downs, and also a little bit sad uh, uh, as well, um, we find that later on, Sheikh Shakir Hamildin broke away from the MJC. And they formed a the Majlis Shura, right? And and this was another group of, of, of scholars on on their own, inshallah ta'ala. And like we as we say, the challenges were there, but alhamdulillah throughout it, the the, the, the Muslim community um, alhamdulillah have been navigating themselves, inshallah ta'ala, through through the scholars, alhamdulillah. And um, although there is some challenges, they are still carrying on and, and guiding the, the Muslim community to where it needs to be, inshallah ta'ala. We ask Allah ta'ala to strengthen our scholars, inshallah ta'ala, to, to, to push our communities within the right direct directions, inshallah ta'ala.